Let's pray to the heavenly unlimited and infinite God. Let's pray together, one for all and all for one. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as your infinite love and mercy permits it and lead us not into temptation by leaving us at the mercy of psychopaths and sadistic entities. But deliver us from, seen, unseen and human evils. God please surround us with your unlimited goodness, love, and mercy. You have all the might, the power and judgment. Dear viewers I was wondering from my early childhood, about, what is out there. Yes, I was up at night, before going to sleep, looking out of the window in my bedroom, scouring the skies as much as my eyes can catch, always was a pleasure, when seeing many many stars out there, when the skies were permitting, being clean of any clouds, always I was hoping to see something unusual, something spectacular, something that will be life-changing in big way to us earthly humans. Then in the school I was learning about the planets, as they were known then approximate a good 40 plus years ago. In that time the astrological knowledge was pretty rough, technology was not advanced as today, no telescope satellites up in the sky, yep, was no Kepler satellite picking up thousands of Goldilocks, exoplanets, no, it was pretty quiet, but I had my hopes up all the time, even when I get a little bit bigger. I was sent out with the garbage as a childhood chore, and I had time to observe the sky, in the cloudy days, I dumped the garbage and I got back right away. But those clear days when was the whole Milky Way visible, my garbage dumping duty, turned into a pleasure trip and took quite some time, making my parents to wonder and scold me, about my whereabouts, missing time, events. Today my hopes are still up, to the max, so when I see an article about any breakthrough, about our intergalactic neighbors, I am all ears, and honestly I want to share my excitement with you. In the religious texts, on shows like Ancient Aliens, we get introduced to lots of ideas, about human past and intergalactic visitors, today's kind of quiet it gets strange, with all the known telescopes over there, and satellite telescopes out there that I am seeing and know about, because it is guaranteed there are, a good number of secret, hidden, eyepieces, there are more curious people than us, there, or just simply, we get kept in the dark, as those kids whose parents were psychopaths, and or low low IQ. Past some time that I was connecting some dots, about space exploration, years passed and my mind was pretty idle, I was enjoying sci-fi movies, but the cinematic wonders are pretty numbing when it comes to critical thinking, so, when it was announced here and there, oh they sent X, Y, Z satellites, and a few dozen secret ones, oh I start thinking, strange they spy on us big time, having out in the space several thousand of the electronic eagle eyes, but they look at us, what is just half wood? Look, for a few months in a year outward, into the vast surrounding space, would not be awesome, and groundbreaking, as data accumulation? 
and maybe even greater if they would share with us some good high definition videos. Oh boy, it would be so awesome, don't you think? Oh well, we will see. In John 14 2 Jesus Christ, our God, said, In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. In John 10:16, Jesus Christ said and I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Something might be here too, even, the Bible, tells us, little of other inhabited worlds. We can infer that any other inhabited planets would be unfallen, Satan, and his angels, were expelled, from the heavens to earth, Revelation 12 7-9 and the host of the heavens is still said to worship God and declare his glory, Nehemiah 9 colon 6, Psalms 19 colon 1. If this is the case, taking the gospel to them would quite literally be preaching to the choir. Let's see now what heavenly, extraterrestrial rooms, or dwelling, was recently discovered, let's see, Maybe they are other sheep there, other brothers and sisters, all who probably themselves, for decades, wondered what is out, there among those nice little lights in the sky. New Earth found orbiting Proxima Centauri, our closest neighbor star. The existence of a planet the size of Earth around the closest star in the solar system, Proxima Centauri, has been confirmed by an international team of scientists including researchers from the University of Geneva, UNIGE. The results, which you can read all about in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, reveal that the planet in question, Proxima b, has a mass of 1.17 Earth masses and is located in the habitable zone of its star, which it orbits in 11.2 days. This breakthrough has been possible thanks to radial velocity measurements of unprecedented precision using Espresso, the Swiss manufactured spectrograph, the most accurate currently in operation, which is installed on the very large telescope in Chile. Proxima b was first detected four years ago by means of an older spectrograph, HARPS, also developed by the Geneva-based team, which measured a low disturbance in the star's speed, suggesting the presence of a companion. The Espresso spectrograph has performed radial velocity measurements on the star Proxima Centauri, which is only 4.2 light-years from the Sun, with an accuracy of 30 cm a second, cm s, or about three times more precise than that obtained with HARPS, the same type of instrument but from the previous generation. We were already very happy with the performance of HARPS, which has been responsible for discovering hundreds of exoplanets over the last 17 years, begins Francesco Pepe, a professor in the astronomy department in UNIGE's Faculty of Science and the man in charge of Espresso. We're really pleased that Espresso can produce even better measurements, and it's gratifying and just reward for the teamwork lasting nearly 10 years. Shining brightly in this Hubble image is our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri lies in the constellation of Centaurus, the Centaur, just over 4 light years from Earth. 
Although it looks bright through the eye of Hubble, as you might expect from the nearest star to the solar system, Proxima Centauri is not visible to the naked eye. Alejandro Suarez Mascarano, the article's main author, adds, confirming the existence of Proxima B was an important task, and it's one of the most interesting planets known in the solar neighborhood. The measurements performed by Espresso have clarified that the minimum mass of Proxima b is 1.17 Earth masses, the previous estimate was 1.3, and that it orbits around its star in only 11.2 days. Artists' impression of the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b shown as of arid, but not completely water-free, rocky super-Earth. This appearance is one of several possible outcomes of current theories regarding the development of this exoplanet, while the actual look and structure of the planet is known in no ways at this time. Proxima Centauri b is the closest exoplanet to the Sun and also the closest potentially habitable exoplanet as well. It orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf with a surface temperature of 3040 K, thus hotter than light bulbs and therefore whiter, as depicted here. The Alpha Centauri binary system is shown in the background. Espresso has made it possible to measure the mass of the planet with a precision of over one-tenth of the mass of Earth, says Michel Mayer, winner of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2019, honorary professor in the Faculty of Science and the architect of all espresso-type instruments. It's completely unheard of. And what about life in all this? Although Proxima b is about 20 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun, it receives comparable energy, so that its surface temperature could mean that water, if there is any, is in liquid form in places and might, therefore, harbor life. Having said that, although Proxima b is an ideal candidate for biomarker research, there is still a long way to go before we can suggest that life has been able to develop on its surface. In fact, the Proxima star is an active red dwarf that bombards its planet with X-rays, receiving about 400 times more than the Earth. Is there an atmosphere that protects the planet from these deadly rays? asks Christopher Lovis a researcher in UNIGE's astronomy department and responsible for Espresso's scientific performance and data processing. And if this atmosphere exists, does it contain the chemical elements that promote the development of life, oxygen, for example? How long have these favorable conditions existed? We're going to tackle all these questions, especially with the help of future instruments like the Ristretto spectrometer, which we're going to build specially to detect the light emitted by Proxima b, and HIRES, which will be installed on the future L39M giant telescope that the European Southern Observatory, ESO, is building in Chile. Surprise, is there a second planet? In the meantime, the precision of the measurements made by Espresso could result in another surprise. The team has found evidence of a second signal in the data, without being able to establish the definitive cause behind it. If the signal was planetary in origin, this potential other planet accompanying Proxima b would have a mass less than one-third of the mass of the Earth. It would then be the smallest planet ever measured using the radial velocity method, 
adds Professor Pepe. It should be noted that Espresso, which became operational in 2017, is in its infancy and these initial results are already opening up undreamed of opportunities. The road has been traveled at breakneck pace since the first extrasolar planet was discovered by Michel Mayer and Didier Claus, both from UNIGE's astronomy department. In 1995, the 51 Peg B gas giant planet was detected using the LOD spectrograph with an accuracy of 10 meters per second, m s. Today Espresso, with its 30 cm s, and soon 10 after the latest adjustments, will perhaps make it possible to explore worlds that remind us of the Earth. Contacts and Sources Francesco Pepe University of Geneva, Unige God Jesus Christ the Son did not want this at all, allowing this is not the Christian lifestyle, Jesus wants us peaceful but not stupid. Not ignorant and docile. God Jesus Christ does not want us brainwashed, indoctrinated, and manipulated, zombie-like industrial robots, slaves, who live just for work and paying taxes and fees. Let's pray. God Jesus Christ also very clearly directed us to completely ignore and stop reading, teaching, considering the writings and stories of the Old Testament. Only these Old Testament stories can support the religious mistakes committed because of lack of knowledge and slash or ignorance that results in a divide and conquer behavior which is detrimental to society. So let's all who want to follow Jesus Christ's Christian path stop having around us any distinctive symbols or painted cloth or certain songs that create this empty Christian schism. Let's pray to the heavenly unlimited and infinite God. Let's pray together, one for all and all for one. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as your infinite love and mercy permits it and lead, leave and keep, us not into temptation by leaving us at the mercy of psychopaths and sadistic entities. But deliver us from, seen, unseen and human evils. God please surround us with your unlimited goodness, love, and mercy. You have all the might, the power and judgment.